Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to explain, give a little backstory behind everything. So I just went around town today and was getting people's opinions about how they feel and what they feel about mental health. I just want to spread some awareness on the mental health because I feel like there's stigma regarding mental health and mental well-being. Like it's a bad thing to focus on, but no, it's like who we are as people and it's, it's something that we need to focus on just on a daily basis. Take things slow, not get overwhelmed, like it helps us like be who we are. And and I think that's super important. But I just went around town and was asking what mental health like means to these people. And honestly, I'm so happy I did because I was able to get so many insights on like how people feel. And it was just, it was amazing. It was amazing to see just everything. And I'm so happy that I did it. And I'm so happy to be able to share this with you guys. Thank you and I hope you guys enjoy. What does mental health mean to you? Can we start? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, we just go straight into it. Yeah. <laughs> Can we retake? <laughs> yeah, we... yeah. Ooh. <laughs> um. Um. Hmm. I think mental health is very important coming from somebody who has suffered their mental health. It's very, it's a hard thing to, you know, like work on and get better at, but once you eventually get better at it, it actually makes your life a lot better. You know, some people talk down on going to therapy, but in my experience, it truthfully helped me out, you know? I actually needed it to, you know, be able to speak out for myself and, you know, make myself better, not for somebody else, but for myself. And it's, it's a struggle going back and forth in between your mental wellness. That's something that, like, people at my age don't really take as serious, I believe. I think we use it as like a cloud chasing thing, being like, oh, I'm so depressed, I have anxiety. When like half of us who actually do suffer through it have to sit there and go through the pain and sorrow of all of it while other people are posting on the internet. Oh, I just zero out of 10 day. Like that's annoying. So mental illness is important to me, but to other people, I don't think it's that important. Awesome, thank you. Mental health for me, okay, this is really cheesy, but when I think of mental health, I think of it as like a muscle. Um, like, you know, like when you go to work out at the gym and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do abs today and like glutes or I'll do triceps. And I feel like it's something that like needs to be worked on like at least like three times a week. Cause otherwise it can like progressively go downhill without you even noticing. Quite significant. Yeah. Mental health is really important, specifically in my major that I'm in right now. I'm in nursing, and for the past two years, it's been really hard to have like a positive mental health with all the stress and all the anxiety. I would say like early last year, I it was hitting me really hard. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. My mental health like dropped completely, and. Uh, I, I mean, we had COVID, so I was pretty much isolated from everybody like that I would hang out with all the time. I think mental health is something that everyone should not be scared to talk about. I think now, like in today's society, it's something that people try to keep like hidden, and I think that shouldn't be the case. I think now with the type of society that we live in, uh, we should be more open about it because, you know, people are a lot more accepting and they're more open-minded about certain things that go on with other people's lives. I mean, overall, I think it's uh, it's just like a, like a concept that should never be shunned away. It's something that, sh you know, someone should always put the time to take care of, specifically, like, on themselves. I would say, you know, to people who are struggling with mental health, you know, don't forget who you are. Don't let other people bring you down. Don't be scared to be honest, specifically with yourself, because I think that's where people struggle the most in. Yeah. Thank you, Annette. That was so good. Thank Being secure within yourself, have healthy thoughts, and taking care of yourself in the development stage of your life and throughout. Just being kind to one another. Have a balanced life. True great. balanced life. All right, that was great. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Okay. I think mental health is a balance of a balance of your emotions. You know, we all have good and bad uh, days and times. We all have, uh, you know, there's depression for everybody here and there. It's something you need to work on to always be able to bounce back from whatever your situation is or whatever, you know, issues you're dealing with. Um, you have to just try to look at the positive. You know, everyone 
is sad or depressed at times, but you need to bounce out of that. Look forward you know, to the future, whatever that means to you, however to work on it, but not to feel ashamed of any, any which way you're going, whether you're really, really happy, really, really sad at one time. It's just about uh, working through it and, and dealing with anything that's causing your, you know, your depression or sadness or your anxiety. Uh, because everybody goes through any of those things at any time. It's just in how you move forward with it. Never stay in any one particular emotion, you know, working through your problems. We all share the same thing. We all go through the same things just at different times. That's, I think, what it means to me, more or less. Awesome, thank you so much, thank you. Mental health, I would say, just uh, your overall state of mind. Not just state of mind, state of being, uh, your outlook, your perspective, your perspective, your thoughts, being able to like reflect on your past, and being able to put it towards your future. It's just it's a mix of everything, and it's a very fragile. <laughs> it's a fragile, fragile thing to deal with. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's the best I got. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, Pat. That was awesome. Thank you. Mental health. I think it means you're at peace. I think it means that you're in a position where you can give to others, that you feel like you're growing, and that uh, inwardly you are you are growing in life and not wasting away. I think that's it, yeah. That's all I have to say. Awesome, thank you. So I first off just want to thank everybody for watching the video, and just I want to thank everybody who was in the video. Thank you so much, and honestly, after reflecting and just letting it all soak in, they, they were such great answers, such great answers, and they all really just showed that everyone goes through mental health problems, everybody, but it is so important, so valuable to your own life and honestly to the people around you too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it. Um, thank you.